what's up guys it's your girl Kia um, I want to do a quick video about Chrissy Teigen and the fact that she put her um, I forgot what you need to call it because it's not a stillborn but it's not really a miscarriage because she's in a certain trimester but the loss of her pregnancy on social media and a lot of people first of all, let me say my heart does not go out to Chrissy Teigen and that's gonna sound weird the reason why I say that is because when you've had a miscarriage or lost a child or had a stillborn you don't want to hear everybody's condolences because after a while it gets annoying. You don't want to hear everybody's like, I feel so sorry my heart goes out to you. So my heart doesn't go out to her. What I will say is I hope that she sits in her pain and gets it out any way that she needs to. Because if she tries to hold on to it or tries to put on a brave face, it will end up taking a longer time to recover and it'll take a longer time for her to figure out her next steps and how she wants to handle it. Be, I want. I hope she is allowed, and I, and I know she's using social media to kind of help her get through this, but I hope she is allowed to take a step back, be sad, cry, be upset, be mad at the world, hate your husband, hate everything, so that you can get it out of your system and then go to your next steps. And I know to a lot of people that won't, that will sound crazy, but as someone who's had a miscarriage, and the manner that I had my miscarriage, I didn't want to hear anybody's condolences after a while. I didn't care. I, I just wanted people to stop talking to me and leave me alone. Um, I did want to get it out and not because I wanted people to give me their condolences or, or say they felt bad for me, but because I wanted someone to give me a reason why this happened to me. Tell me why this happened. Give me a reason why and I'm cool and I can move forward. And you just want people to hear how angry you are and how upset you are and how hurt you are. And I feel like that was Chrissy's real motive. She wanted to show the world, like, I am hurt, this is awful, I can't believe this happened to me, this is unreal, I, I am upset, and, I, and I, since I can't scream over a bullhorn for the entire world to hear me, I'm going to put this out here like that. Um, there have been a lot of people on social media, a lot of abortion right activists and fucking Republicans, sometimes I can't stand them, who've been saying really awful things about her having a quote-off-quote photo shoot. What she did is not a photo shoot. What happens is when you have a stillborn or when you have um, a loss of pregnancy when you're in your second or third trimester, the grief counselors recommend that you document the procedure, document the process the same way you would, would a live birth. Because though this baby is not alive, this baby did matter to the family. It was a part of the family. It was important. It is something that you do want to celebrate even though the child didn't get to take its first breath or maybe the child only lived for a couple of hours you still want to celebrate that tiny little bit of time that you had with him or her and to a lot of people that sounds crazy it sounds bizarre like oh it died though I'm like yes but while that baby is inside of you you feel a deep and profound connection you love it you already start most mothers most mothers do this I, I was only eight weeks when I had a miscarriage but I was already talking to my stomach like it was going to talk back to me like it was gonna say, yep, mom, I'm doing this. I'm eating all of my food and yay, we're excited. Like it's, that's how you feel about it. And when you're in your second or third trimester and you have these things happen, your baby is already interacting with you. It is kicking, you can feel it moving around. You can do all these things. So it is a real life. And I don't think her mindset was, let's whip this out and document it. I think the grief counselors maybe told somebody because they do have these people on staff to take pictures and document it. People were making comments about her being quote off quote topless. She wasn't topless. She was in a, a hospital gown getting ready to have an epidural because again, when you are in your second trimester, you can no longer take the misoprostol pill and you can no longer have the DNC. At this point, the safest way for your body to um, survive the pregnancy loss this person's not gonna let me over, that's so rude. <laughs> and the quick, the easiest way for your body to survive and heal the quickest from the pregnancy loss is for you to actually give birth to the, to the child. This means they give you an epidural, you have to push, you have to do the whole nine to get the baby out, which for a lot of women is a very weird traumatic experience because you're giving birth to something that technically is not alive and that you don't get to take home. Um, so that's why she was topless, because I don't know, a lot of people may, I mean, most people should know this by now, an epidural goes into your spine, so you can't have a whole lot of clothes on, so they put in because they put the needle, a very long needle, into your spine. Another reason why I thought it was odd that people were making these comments about her was the fact that what woman is fully clothed when she's giving birth? I don't know if any of these people have actually been in a delivery room. I haven't, but I have my my um, brother's girlfriend gave birth. I have friends who've given birth, and they're basically naked. They give you net underwear at the most, but they don't, because they have all these things plugged into you, you got these things around your stomach, they're trying to monitor the baby, they're trying to monitor you. 
So people making comments about her being naked just to me seemed very ignorant because she's giving birth. Um, why did she post it on social media? I have no idea. She probably, like I said earlier in this, she probably just wanted to get it out there and scream to the world, I cannot believe this happened to me. And, and maybe have other women reach out to her and say, it happened to you, it happened to me too. The good thing is you have other children or the good thing is you, you have the resources to have another child. You got this experience with Jack, you got pregnant naturally. That's really, cause she had never gotten pregnant naturally before. Your body can do this. Like she could be screaming out for that reason, but for whatever reason, I don't think what she did was, was bad or awful. Did it catch me off guard when I saw it? Yeah, it caught me off guard, but it wasn't like, oh my God, she's a horrible person. Why would she put this out there? She put it out there because that was her choice. There are other women who do the same thing. I, I talked about my miscarriage. I put that video out on YouTube because I want other women to talk about it. And every time we have a woman who talks about her miscarriage or loss of pregnancy or stillbirth, she's talking about it after she has had another child to say, I went through this and now I have this beautiful baby. And as someone who's had a miscarriage, what it makes me think of is, fuck you. You have no idea how this feels to have to go through this and not be sure if you're ever going to have kids again. So Chrissy wanted to document it in the moment so that it, she let people know that she's, she, she gets it. And again, I understand her frustration. I understand her pain. I understand her grief. It is a hard process to go through. I mean, I have another video where I talk about my situation and my situation was nowhere near hers. Um, like hers because we were still in the it's a fetus stage it hadn't become a baby which doesn't become a baby until the second trimester and that's another thing I want to bring up um, a lot of people saying that she's pro-abortion and how oh it's just a group of cells you shouldn't care <sighs> that statement is so ignorant which makes me think that a lot of pro-life people are the dumbest people on the face of the planet that's not how this this works with miscarriages and stillborns and loss of pregnancy you have a miscarriage like in what they call a miscarriage, you have that from one week to 13 weeks. That's when it's still deemed a fetus. It's not moving. You do have an active heartbeat, but it's not moving around. It's not doing a whole lot. There's not a lot that you can feel. You still have a connection to it, but it's not official baby yet. You can still take the misoprostol pills or do a DNC. What a DNC is, it's a surgical procedure where they go and safely remove the baby that is no longer progressing out of your body can't do that with the misoprostol because at that point the baby is too big and you're, you won't get dilated enough it's a whole thing once you get into your second trimester it's no longer a fetus it is now a baby and once the baby gets to a certain point if it does not progress uh, or the pregnancy is lost that means you have to get or is it still born in the third trimester that means you have to actually give birth to it when you have an abortion abortions are only allowed in certain states between one and 13 weeks this is still a fetus and to some women who don't want to have a baby yeah to those women it's a group of cells because they don't want to have a baby but to women like Chrissy who want to have a baby and, and she is pro-abortion I mean I'm pro-life but I'm not about to tell no other woman what they can and cannot do with their body that is their business but Chrissy wanted this baby it's not a group of cells to her She's not some woman who's just like, I don't want to do this. This is this is not what I want with my life right now. She was a woman who a thousand percent wanted this baby. And that's the difference between abortion, wanting to have an abortion, and, and having a miscarriage. Wanting to have abortion means you go into the doctor's office and you say, I don't want to have this pregnancy. This is not something that I want to do. I don't think this is right for me. So you do it. A miscarriage means you actually wanted this child. <laughs> Like, and then people, like, it, it just blows me away the ignorance of the pro-life movement. And they think more people are going to be on their side with their comments and stuff. And they're not. They just come off like assholes. So I feel bad for Chrissy. Like I said, I'm not giving her my condolences. I really, really, really want her to handle this the best way she knows how. If that's putting it out there, that's putting it out there. If it's being angry, it's being angry. If it's drinking every bottle of wine from California all the way to Italy, do it. Do whatever you need to, she needs to do to get back in the right place. And for women who've gone what she's gone through, what I've gone through, it takes a while. For me, it took two years. It took two years to get to a better place. Not only about yourself as a woman, yourself as, as a mom, as a person, as a whole thing. Is this right for me? Should I do this? Maybe I'm broken. What if I am broken? So many things run through your head. 
So she just, she has a lot she's got to deal with and she's got to face it. And if she wants to face it in public, people let her face it in public. If she wants to then go dormant and go quiet, let her go dormant and go quiet. But people making fun of her and making these nasty comments on social media, it's its not a good look. Especially when someone is dealing with something as bad as, as a loss of pregnancy. In, in her, She was 21 weeks. She was at 21 weeks or 22 weeks, but she was a good distance along. So that's my thoughts on it. Drop down in my comments. You may not agree with me and that's fine. In this situation, I don't give a damn who agrees with me or not. Unless you've been in these shoes, you don't know how this feels. You don't. And there is no right way or wrong way to handle it. There is no bad way or great way to handle it. You just have to handle it. So drop down in my comments to get the conversation started. Um, like and subscribe to my channel. Blah, 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 blah. Talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>